In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to use a plugin called Easy Digital Downloads to build a WordPress theme shop. You can actually use Easy Digital Downloads to create any kind of digital storefront, but in this tutorial series, we're going to build a theme shop. So, to start out with, once the plugin is installed, I'm going to show you how you can change the slug and also the labels in the dashboard from downloads to themes. From there, we're going to go into building the actual single page for your downloads. This will display an image, whatever content you would like, uh, add to cart links, variable pricing, and the different ways that you can display variable pricing and single pricing. Once we have the single page built, I'll show you how you can, of course, add it to the cart and go to the checkout page. We'll create a custom WordPress template for our checkout page and I'll show you how you can overwrite some of the easy digital download files to create a custom checkout page. This will include changing things like this table up here at the top. Once we have the single page and the checkout page completed, I'll show you how you can create a, a downloads archive to display all of your digital downloads on one page. This will allow visitors to your theme shop the ability to see all the different themes that you offer. As you add more, they will, of course, go down the page. This tutorial series assumes that you have a little bit of WordPress experience and you're comfortable digging around in the WordPress theme files. It also helps to have a little bit of HTML and CSS background. If you're worried that this might be a little bit over your head, I'd recommend going to bootstrapwp.com, going to the course outline, and checking out some of our other tutorial series before you move on to this one. This will help you get familiar with WordPress theme development and will also walk you through the process of building a few WordPress themes with theme options panels and custom post types to get you familiar with the process. So if you think this might be something you're interested in, go ahead and check out the Easy Digital Downloads tutorial series.